Greetings everyone, my name is Etterville, and welcome to my let's try of the demo of Adventure Kitty Drillbuster, a 2D arcade game in development by Zaltic Games. Oh no, not again. Four in total. Don't go back to sleep, Carden. We have a world to save. Case in point. Mega Buster. Time for plasma power. Drill acquired. We're mega matting this up. Our plan is to drop straight into danger. Level 1. Go for gold. Good for us. We sure do. Pretty shiny. Who put all these coins here in the first place? And for that matter, all the coin gates. Only up to the last checkpoint, that is. And you have infinite lives in this mode. Level 2. What's a drill, mite? I'm gonna try collecting as many coins as possible, just in case the future levels become too difficult. Level 3. Cannons where? By the way, I can't drill upwards. Keep that in mind when making a path forwards. I missed one coin up there. By mistake. Level 4, the Worm Keeper.
Level 5 Directional Drilling We need to drill through all these arrows in the correct direction in order to open the gates. Let's see what happens if I miss one now. I get sent back to the start. At least I don't need to re-drill them. No deaths either. Indeed it is, Jaden. This was featured prominently during the trailer. Halfway true. Already I'm liking this a lot. This really reminds me of a Nitrum game. A secret room, you say? Roger that, Felicity. I'll keep my eyes out. There it is. That wasn't that hard. Well, first damage. In essence, the punishment for dying in this mode is almost non-existent. I'm seeing if I can outpace it. Level 7, Batter Enemies. Oops, hang on. So these are like red coins, aren't they? How do you get this then? Must be a secret. Level 8. Follow the leader. And I failed to do so correctly. Level 9 I remember this level from the trailer How do you get that? Is there a special ability I'm going to acquire later that allows me to drill through blue blocks?
Oh boy. Thank goodness I don't need to do all of this in one go. There was a secret I missed. Wow, that was a slick dodge there. Well, not Shovel Knight Dig, but something else. Level 10, the final stretch. I hope so, Felicity. There's very likely a boss at the end of this place. Can't get it this way. But there is something interesting down there. I didn't mean to drill down that much. The element's just in sight. I went too fast. Oh, hello, Frogger. I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing so far. Earth, the source of power. We got it. No biggie. We'll see about that, mysterious figure. Deletion? This is not Battle Network. To be continued. In the final game. Shame there wasn't a big machine to trash. Oh, time trials. I have two questions, though. Does obtaining new elements power up Carden? And... How do you break through the blue blocks? Are they merely pushable in one direction, or do I need to collect the power-up? Overall, this was a very solid demo. One of the best demos I covered during the Sage, period. Controls were very responsive. The moment I pressed the movement key, Karn immediately moved in that direction. 
I know I played this with a keyboard, but you can play this just as well with a gamepad. Just make sure to use the D-pad. The base move set is really simple. You can only move or drill in three different directions, but the game manages to get a whole lot of mileage out of it. The way this is structured, it strongly reminds me of Nitrome, which is a big compliment in my book. I actually don't have any complaints about this. It's just so fast-paced and polished and engaging. It's shaping out to be a very promising, arcade-inspired title. Good job, developers. I wish the best of luck to you. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.